Hi, welcome to Sales Management System Developed using Visual C Sharp. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. If you select jeans, and that's what you get, you get a picture of the material that you actually want. Just enter how many of those you want in there. And that is how it works all the way. Right. And the other thing that you can do with this system is you can always add it all up you get a total that's how much you get to pay for tax get your receipt printed on the receipt screen and if you want you can even print it out there we go right there so that's your receipts to be printed out if you want just close that then we can reset okay and put in more orders total receipts and print if you want and we can also exit the other component we have in this system is how to we can also use the calculator to, to find out the price or whatever okay so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys welcome back to C sharp so let's click on create new project now that the dialog box is ready make sure you select C sharp select Windows forms application and let's give a project name I'm gonna call it CS underscore sales underscore management system there and click on save now that the form is ready I'm going to redefine the size of this form to 1386 by 800 there and right here where we have start position I'm gonna get that centered select that and make it center now up here let's enter sales management system so you enter that on the text itself and that's all there is to it so the next thing you need to do is go to the tools and what we need now we need a couple of maybe seven seven panels one here and let's change the property of these to border style make that fix 3d and just click and copy this one right here and drag this that much just to fill up the width of the form the same thing will be repeated for the others so I might as well just copy this just put it down bring this one right down right here that's good okay now this very one move down up here bring it down and just copy it across I'm going to need two more them. and let's copy both hold down to your control and just copy there we go now the next thing is let me call this into two I'm going to need one more need there okay so the next thing I like to do now is you see this very one up here and the one I have down here let me change the color to control dark dark there we go that's it that's fine so the next thing is let's come to the tools here and grab a button I'm gonna need couple of those let's copy and paste and let's just speed up the design of this button itself right that's the button taken care of now we need to take care of up here let's go for a label right there we have a label so on label I'm going to change that to sales management system right 
and let's change the color of that very label I'm going to change the font to control light light and increase the size so let's make that maybe 60 let's go for 60 right move it up okay so the next thing is up here I'm gonna need a label I want a label there and this very label let's change auto size I'm gonna make that fours and the color that color is going to be controlled back deck right there and very centered then the other thing I would need on it is let's enter something there we just call that women women's women's outfit and let's change the font of that to control light light increase the size the font size 28 okay and just drag these along right and copy across bring that here and that will be men's outfit change that to men's right there okay now here let's add let's add uh, which text box here there we go then we need some combo box let's grab some combo box right here combo box here and a text box yeah there just copy this across and change that to kids outfit okay grab the combo and everything in here let's copy and paste it here then we're just going to redefine the whole interface okay right here we need three of these and we're going to now speed up the whole process let's grab a label and paste one right there label okay and here we need let's come right here we need some buttons here Let's copy because we're going to need a calculator there. Copy this along. Grab and copy. Okay, and here we then need a, a picture box. One picture box coming up right there there we go so what I'm going to do now is let me speed up the design of the whole interface so that it looks more presentable then I will get back to you guys so let's do that now guys and this is subtotal 
and the last one is going to be two tall. There. Okay, guys, let's speed up the whole design, and I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, guys, this is how the whole interface looks right now, but nothing is happening here. Nothing. So let's close that. And right in here, let's double click on exit. But before that, let's come in here. We need two more objects. We need print objects. We're going to need print document, and we also need print dialog. Yeah, those two are here now. Select, let's select print preview dialog. Come to the properties inside the properties where we have document. I'm going to select print document one. So that is fine. So while we are in print, we might as well just take care of the whole printing process. So let's double click on print document here. Double click on that. And, and right in here, I'm going to enter the following. So let's say e e dot graphic right there. So e we stands for the system itself dot draw string open and the name of my rich text box that is called rt receipts dot text whatever i have in there okay comma new font and what font do i want to use let me use or settle for area area comma and the size of the font let's go for 11 comma font so let's get this method that would be let's make it regular there and come out here comma now I need a brush so let's say brush brushes make it black I want it to be black that is fine comma I can go for new new point and the new point in this case is going to be let's make that zero by zero zero comma zero and right here is enter semicolon there so that's what I'm gonna use for my print but there's one more thing that I need to do I need this one to display the dialog so let's say print preview this very one let's copy the name double click and just paste that there dot show dialog there that is it done so the print is taken care of if I run my system now and click on print there we go so the print part of it is taken care of that's how easy it is to to implement print process inside c sharp okay the next one is let's take care of this exit so close that let's go straight into exit double click on the exit so for the exit i'm going to first of all declare as follows dialog result I'm going to call that I exit I prefer to use this method because the system will actually prompt you to confirm if you want to exit or not so in there in my variable I'm going to enter a message box message box dot show and that will be confirmed you want to exit right now that we get that straightened out let's enter the title of my program and that is sales management system 
right now comma let's center one or two, uh, two visual c sharp dialog or function right here build function that would be message box button dot yes no comma another dialog which is be for the icon dot the icon I would like you to show should be question now enter semicolon now let's come in here and use if statement to validate the option made okay exit equals dialog result dot yes if exit equals dialog result dot yes use a curly braces then application dot exit there we go that's how I encourage my viewers to create their exits because it will prompt you to confirm if you want to exit or not okay so that's that let's run it and see how the exit is going to look like if we click on exit this there we go that's what you get if you say no you back into the system but if you say yes this is what's going to happen good so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly